Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video is going to be on how to maintain your yo-yo bearing. How to do it like a pro. How to maintain your yo-yo bearing like a pro. Now, as a preface to this entire video, okay, when I first started, bearings were really expensive. And I think they are kind of expensive, but generally, you know, I remember buying a ceramic Diffio concave bearing and that was 30 US dollars. That's a lot of, like, this, this is how big a bearing is. This is $30, like, by, that was an expensive expensive dollar amount. These days, they're pretty cheap. I mean, you can get pretty good, like, kind of concave bearings on, like, Alibaba. You can get, like, a crap ton of them. They're super cheap. They work really well. They're semi-disposable. I would totally recommend just doing that. And all of this video, like, if you screw up your bearing and you have the money to replace it, just replace it. It's going to be so much easier. And, and, and more often than not, that's what I do. I know how to clean a bearing. I know how to lube a bearing. I know how to maintain a bearing. I know how to de-shield a bearing. But... It's just a bother. Like, if it's gonna be like, oh, alright, okay, it's gonna be like an extra dollar to replace this thing. I'm just gonna replace it. In case you guys aren't as wasteful as me, um, here's how you maintain a bearing. When it comes to bearing maintenance, the, the master skill in all of this is, is cleaning your bearing. If you know how to do everything involved in cleaning a bearing, meaning de-shielding a bearing, cleaning the bearing in lighter fluid, fluid, putting the amount of right lube in and maybe reshielding it. I don't, I don't generally reshield bearings anymore, but putting it back in, that will fix, you know, all of the problems that can be fixed with a bearing. The, the thing that's never discussed or not as discussed as much is when should I clean it? Let's say you get a, uh, a variant, for instance. You, you, you buy the variant, you get it right out of the box, and you play with it. This bearing doesn't need to be cleaned, right? You don't, you're not going to get any benefit from cleaning a yo-yo bearing that came right out of the box, right? Unless it's, it's a faulty bearing. So, so when do you clean it? And this is a, this is a tell. Alright, let's say I'm playing with this, and it, it sounds alright. This is pretty cool. The first sign on when you're supposed to clean your bearing is when it starts to get loud. See this? It's kind of like, oh, that's not right. Like, my yo-yo doesn't normally sound like that. It may still spin fine, but this is kind of like a symptom. Like, in terms of, like, bearing health, this is like runny nose and a cough. You're not shut down yet, but this is the first sign that it's, it's time to clean your bearing. The next issue is that this, when it starts to get kind of semi-responsive, so this particular yo-yo model, the variant, is an unresponsive yo-yo. If I tug at this, it shouldn't come up if the bearing is spinning properly. But, if the bearing is starting to lock up, and it's like, oh, and I, I can get to the point where I really try to, I can get this thing responsive, then you got a problem. The last issue is when you start to kind of, when it's like, oh, it's super loud and it becomes super responsive, and you've been playing this thing in its kind of like disintegrated state for too long, this is the point of no return. This is the point where you have destroyed your bearing. You need to go and purchase a new one, okay? Now, this is something that I'm gonna tell you straight. If your bearing is at that level, I'm gonna show you. If your bearing is loud, responsive, and barely spins anymore, like, it, it, I can feel this thing clicking. Like, it's like that. Now, unfortunately, your bearing is destroyed. It's gone, it's kaput, it, you, you can't fix it, all right? Now, I'm gonna save you a lot of time. You're gonna watch videos on how to clean your bearing, you're gonna watch videos on how to lube your bearing, you're gonna watch videos on how to clean this, you're gonna have to do that. None of it's gonna work. You have destroyed your bearing. Now, the good news is, is that your yo-yo is 100% fine. What you need to do is just purchase a new bearing. Bearings are cheap these days. I suggest going on yo-yo expert, yo-yo rewind, yo-yo... Yo uh, yo tricks, there are plenty of places to get good bearings, but this, it's gone. Um, you can't fix it. It's, it's gone. So, so, so the key thing with bearing maintenance is never let it get to that point. Never keep running that bearing, disintegrating the kind of, the balls. Like, never keep disintegrating the balls until it gets to this point. Because once it's at this point, nothing I can do. I can't save this bearing. You can't save this bearing. It doesn't matter who it is. The only way you're going to fix it is get a new bearing. Now that I've discussed the when of when you should clean your bearing, um, the next big question I get is lube. Now, lube is, a, is one of those things that a lot of yo-yo players kind of talk about. Generally, 
If you get one of these, this is kind of Yo-Yo Factory Thin Lube. I used to have a Yo-Yo Jam Thin Lube. I didn't run out of it. If you purchase one of these, they're not expensive. They're about $5, five to six kind of US dollars. Purchase one of these, it will last forever. Now, the question I'm, I'm normally posed is like, Brandon, okay. It's, it's six dollars, but I live in Canada. I live in Australia. I live in India. Um, I, I can't easily buy this cheap little lubricant. Do you have any alternatives? Do you have any substitutes? Do you have any idea on what I could do to use something other than Yo-Yo Lube to lube the bearing? Now, in my experience, every single time I have ever tried to use something other than a Yo-Yo Lube, it has destroyed the bearing. In fact, when I was first, my first Yo-Yo unresponsive yo-yo ever. I got the yo-yo, I thought like, I need to lube the bearing. So I went and blasted um, silicone spray into the, the bearing and it completely destroyed it. It was never the same again. And I don't recommend putting anything in your yo-yos other than yo-yo lube. If there is some sort of like substitute that people can swear by, Potentially, maybe post that down below in the comments, but from my experience, and I've been in this game for 11 years, I've never found something that replaces the kind of thin loop, all right? Just just buy one, literally in your next yo-yo order, invest in one of these, it will outlast your yo-yo career, and then you'll never have to worry about lube again. Now, this is also on the topic of lubes. There are lubes that are designed for yo-yoing that can also kind of screw your bearing up. So. This is a uh, Yomega Brain Lube. Now this is what you call thick lube. Kind of look at that viscosity. Viscosity is just kind of like how, kind of, I don't know the formal definition of it, but you can kind of see like this kind of has a consistency that's closer to water. This is kind of like a mud. Um, this is designed for responsive play. So put, putting even the tiniest drop of this thing into your yo-yo is gonna make it responsive. Don't put this stuff. Another lubricant that I would not recommend is this. So Yo-Yo Factory put out this thing called Dark Matter Lube. Every single time I put this stuff in my bearing, it completely destroys it. I would highly advise against, do not use this lubricant. Now this channel has been pretty positive for most things, but this is a really crappy product. I don't know if I'm misusing this, but if it's a yo-yo lubricant and I put it into my yo-yo and it destroys the bearings every single time I use it, I'm not sure whose fault that is, but I would advise against using dark matter lube. Now the next thing is how much lube should you put in? Don't put in a lot. I've, I've made videos about this, but put in a teeny, 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 tiny amount, all right? You do not want to go in and literally put like that, like doing that is gonna be way too much. Even though this stuff is super thin, if you do that, you're, you're gonna be spending the better part of a month throwing that yo-yo till the point where it gets back to normal again. And it may never spin as fast because there's just too much lube in there. So get get yo-yo lube, um, put a tiny, tiny pin drop of an amount in and don't bother looking for substitutes. The, the, every single time, I have seen someone get a substitute, they've destroyed their bearing to the point where it doesn't work anymore, okay? You don't want that, so I would recommend buying one of these. Now, sometimes, now this is something that has become kind of more common in the yo-yoing world. So you get a bearing and it spins fine. Here, hear that. This is a, this is a, this is kind of like a, this is a Topio Colossus. So it spins fine, it's great. But then when you're playing with it, it, it has this like weird, see, notice how when I stop it, it kind of sounds weird, like that. This bearing is perfectly fine, but when I stop it, it's like, what's that weird noise? And sometimes when you're yo-yoing, it'll be like, you'll yo-yo and it'll be like And you'll be like, what the hell is that? The, the bearing spins fine, but what is it? It's the shields. To, to fix this issue, all I would need to do is go and deshield it. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now and I'm gonna show you this to you guys, but um, I've got a tutorial on how to deshield the bearing, so I'm gonna do this quite quickly. Okay, boom, de-shielded. See, see? No problem. To not be perfectly irresponsible with this, shields do serve a purpose. Now the purpose of shields is to prevent kind of little granules of, of, of dust and particles getting inside of them. Now, I'm gonna make this clear. Those C-clips are a pain in the ass to put back on, so I don't even bother 
um, I don't even I don't even bother putting them back on. If you look at my yo-yos, unless the if the bearing has ever given me trouble, whenever I de-shield it to clean it, that is the way it is going to stay. I'm not going to put these things back on. But shields do serve a purpose. I don't want to be the guy that's like. They, they don't do anything. They do do a purpose, but they're just really annoying to kind of get in and get out. As long as you're kind of clean with it, um, and again, the reason people leave their shields off is because without the shields on, it's very easy to clean. You can just literally take that bearing out, plop it into lighter fluid, jiggle it off a little bit, take it out, dry it, lube it, boom, done, you're good to go. So, so that's the trade-off. If you want to make sure that the little kind of particles don't get inside of it, shield them back up. As you guys could probably tell by now, I am deeply impassioned about yo-yo bearings, but this is a live case study. Now, maybe this might be someone like you. Alright, now, for the sake of this, he wanted me to keep his name anonymous, but, um, let's just call him Bob. Okay, so Bob DM'd me on Instagram and he said this. Hey Brandon, I hope you can answer my question. So, I just bought a Magic Yo-Yo Y01 and I believe it's a unresponsive yo-yo. Okay. Uh, I bought it on I bought it online and I claimed it yesterday. So my problem is the bearing of my yo-yo doesn't turn as smoothly I used uh, as I used it yesterday when I turned the bearing. I'm feeling a light stop. Can you help me? I don't know what happened to my bearing. I hear a little squeak. I don't know what to do. And there's the video. From all of the things that I've said in this video, can you guys guess what the issue with Bob's bearing is? Comment down below if you think you know what it is. This is what I think it is. If you notice Bob's bearing, it is de-shielded. Now, remember the this kind of issue where it was like there was a there was a slight kind of tss, tss, that was because of the shields. In Bob's case, he's got no shield on his bearing. Now. This is significant for two things. One, it's probably a little kind of particle that got inside that thing and is starting to screw with the bearing. So, so to continue his question, that's what happened. I hope you can answer. I hope you can answer my question. Do I need to lube the bearing? I would recommend cleaning the bearing and then lubing it. Um, from outside the box, the bearing is very smooth, but as I'm using it, the, the bearing became not as smooth as it used to be. This is a video of Bob's bearing. Oh. Oh, that is a loud, dry bearing. That's not good. And then, watch this, it locks up. Oh, that's bad. In that instance, that is a bearing that is that is nearing the point of no return. I don't think it's completely unsalvageable yet, but the way to fix this would be get the bearing, clean it, lube it with a tiny, tiny amount, and again, with, with yo-yo lubricant, not anything else. And that should fix the bearing. And that is is really the definitive kind of guide to maintaining your bearing like a pro. So the first step is understanding when you need to clean your bearing. And that is A, when your bearing starts to get loud, B, when your st bearing starts to get loud and responsive, and C, when you by the time your bearing is super loud, super responsive, it's too late, buy a new bearing. There are instances also where the bearing is just Kind of is kind of glitching out because it's it's shields aren't put on in place take those shields out it should fix it you're good to go now if you take your shields out it makes it susceptible to kind of risks like bobs where little granule particles kind of put in there and slow the bearing down the only way to fix that is to clean the bearing and add a tiny little bit of lube into it now what lube thin lube yo-yo factory thin lube yo-yo jam thin lube whatever the case so, so that is really everything I know when it comes to bearing maintenance. And if all hell break loose and you destroy your bearing, when in doubt, just buy a new bearing. Okay, I think we're all bearing down. But if anyone has any comments, questions, criticisms on this video, comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Alright.